baby vlogger? You want to tell them all what you just did? started off a vlog in a long time but Amber woke up at like five so I just like laid her down with me in bed and then she fell back asleep until like just now which is when she woke up and thank god for that I just took a shower I just had Annabelle in the swing outside of the door like with the door open because my mom is on the bike and no one else is here, so that's kind of just been what I've been doing when I really need to take a shower and there's no one there to watch her and it ends up working out just fine because she really likes the sound of the shower. So, sometimes it's better than someone else watching her, honestly, because then she's just fussy for someone else rather than being calm with me. Yeah, I don't know why I don't do that more often. Except for the fact that sometimes I'll take a shower during her nap or like while she's sleeping in the swing in the morning. Because as I've said, like a couple hours after she wakes up, she takes a short nap in the swing, wakes up again, eats, goes down for a nap around noon. So that's kind of how things have been going. I've been a little bit of a mess, but I'm I'm good in places. There's like four or five days until we leave for Minnesota, and then five days after we get back is when I'm starting work again, and I'm working three days a week, five-hour shifts, which most of that time that I'm gone will be during Annabelle's nap, because I'm starting at nine and working till three. Normally, she wakes up around like anywhere between like two and 3.30. So, I'm hoping that if she wakes up before I get home, that she can just hold off on eating until I get home. And if not, there's bottles always in the fridge or in the freezer, and she can have rice cereal now. She eats it really well, so things like that. But I'm hoping that she'll only have to take one bottle during a five-hour shift that I'm gone. Because it was originally going to be five and a half hours, and then... It would honestly be like a total of almost six and a half hours that I'm gone because it takes like 20 minutes to get there or 25 minutes. Well, probably around 20 minutes to get there. But, so I'll probably have to leave around like 8.30 to get there by 9. And then I'll probably get home around 3.30 because I get off at 3. And that'll be interesting, but it'd also be nice to like, socialize with people besides my family. Again, I love my family, but when you don't have anyone else to talk to in person besides your family, it's a little rough. But Annabelle is just swinging. Are you swinging? Yeah? You having fun? Chewing on your fingers? Yeah. <sighs> and I don't really know what I'm going to do my time for now while she's sitting there and calm. I doze edges and I have this giant zit that I keep touching and so it's making it worse so I should really stop doing that but it's a struggle in itself. I don't know. I just need like I need a hobby, but I don't have enough time to like get into a hobby considering we're leaving a few days and then I'm starting work shortly after that. And I'm working three days a week to start with, but I think I'll go down to two after I'm done with all my training because this is the same place that I worked before I had Annabelle. And so I just need to finish my training. And then I think there's new training that I have to do for the new year. And so I'll do that as well. And then hopefully I can go down to two days. But I don't know. If the three days a week goes well and I'm not, like, <laughs> dying to see my baby. Well, because she's sleeping most of the time. So, I don't know. If it's not a big deal, maybe I'll stay at three weeks or three days a week. But that just seems like so much. I don't know. 
But I'm working Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I don't have to work weekends, because weekends would not be good. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Are you gonna be a baby vlogger? You want to tell them all what you just did? Say, I pooped. Now mama has to change it. But that's okay, because we like getting all of our poops out. Yes. Bueno. Yes. Okay. Let's change it. Let's change it. Change it, change it, change it, change it, change it. We got our diaper changed, and now we're all better. Are we all better? Yes. Say yes, mama. We're all better. Bless you. Oh my goodness. That was the biggest sneeze ever. Just kidding. You was cute, Nito. Yeah? Can you say hello? Hello! No, you don't want to? Okay. That's fine. Oh, look at those eyes. They're just so pretty. So pretty. Oh, you want to hold it? Okay, you hold it. Mama, help you. Can you say hello? Hello, guys. My name is Annabelle Brooke, and I am four and a half months old. I also like rolling over onto my tummy even though I don't like being on my tummy. Yes, yes, okay. Are you all done? Say goodbye. See you in a little bit. Love you so much. You're so cute. Go. Can I boop you? Go boop. Is that funny? Go. Go. Boop. Go. Oh, you want to hold it? Okay, you're gonna hit yourself in the face, so mom's gonna help you. They're just too cute. Alright, y'all. It is now afternoon. Annabelle just pooped for a second time today. And for you that have small children that poop very often, mine does not. And so when she does, it's good. Except for when it doesn't stay in your diaper. But I think it's still in your diaper because your diapers are still pretty big on you. Because you're just a little nugget. You're going to stay in size 1 diapers forever. Yes. Yes. Say yes, mama. Are you done pooping? Because if you're not done pooping, I shouldn't change your diaper. But if you are done, then I'd be like, okay. Uh-huh. Yes. She's just giving me a blank stare. As usual. Say per usual. You're done, right? Holy. That's a lot. Okay. That's fine. That's good. Because you've been not so happy lately. And I think it's because your tummy's hurting. And I think it might be... Because you're having a little trouble getting this stuff out. So, if you get it all out, then that's better. It's good. Say bueno, mama. Bueno, 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 bueno. I don't actually know Spanish. I just say a lot of random Spanish words all the time. Whew. But I was like going through, kind of just like going through my finances today. I know. Sounds so adult like. Um, kind of to see like how much I've been spending compared to how much I've been putting into my account. Um, obviously, I'm not working right now, but I got money for Christmas. I got some money for Valentine's Day. Um, what else did I get money for? Well, my birthday, too, I guess. And that's all been somewhat recent. So. Putting that money in 
and then compared to how much money I've been spending and how much money I've been spending on things that are necessities compared to things that aren't necessities. So, like, I just bought a new phone, which to me was not a complete necessity, but I'd rather buy a somewhat new phone now where it's old enough that it's cheap enough that I can afford it and my phone's still new enough where it's worth enough where I can sell it for a good amount. And then I don't have to worry about buying another phone for probably like two years. And at that point I'll probably have a little more money. Maybe. Maybe not. But I have a full tuition scholarship to college so I don't have to worry about college expenses minus books and then like probably a few other fees and then also if I'm going to be eating on campus which I'm going to try not to do just because it's going to be so expensive but if it does happen it happens and I'm probably going to work one maybe two days a week once I start school it kind of depends on how things work out I'm pretty sure that I didn't know this but when you sign up for priority enrollment at the college that I'm going to, I'm pretty sure your advisors pick your freshman classes for you. And I don't know, like, how much they actually pick. Like, I don't know if they just, like, tell you what to pick and then you get to pick the classes and then pick the times. Or if they just make your whole schedule for you. But that might actually become a pain in the butt and I might have to end up changing a lot of things just because like most college students don't have babies they don't have to worry about getting someone to watch their baby and things like that and being home enough like because by the time I start school she'll be able to eat real foods for the most part so it's not a big deal then but I'd still like her to be breastfed like at least some of the time probably um so she's like one maybe one and a half I don't really know yet it kind of depends on how things are going I just know that it kind of keeps their immunities up and working well and everything like that so t for me it'd be beneficial to breastfeed her for as long as I can which I know a lot of people try to do and then sometimes she just kind of quit because that's easiest but what was I talking about oh yeah so I was kind of trying to determine like how much money I'm gonna be making once I start working again whether I'm working three days or two days a week um and just to kind of know like how much money I'm gonna have compared to how much money I have to spend and I do have like my car insurance and her life insurance that I pay monthly and then there's nothing else that I pay like same amount monthly but obviously like diapers and I'm gonna have to pay for food for her and all those types of things but for the most part my parents pay for a lot just because they would have otherwise been paying for other necessities that I needed when I was at college otherwise which was the original plan um and so that because i have a full tuition scholarship them paying for the other things that i need is kind of like their part that they want to help with so i thank them so much for that because i like i have the money for it it's just it's nice when you don't have to worry about things like that especially right now when i'm trying to go to college and make as much money as i can working and then i'm trying to get done with college in three years if possible because i had taken college classes during my senior year of high school so we'll see i'm just trying to make sure that i have enough money for everything that she needs I'm not as worried about me I can make things work for me but I just want to make sure that she definitely has everything that she needs
Is that funny? Yeah. What? No way. Oh no.